I was going to tell you a little bit about um, preventative healthcare. So we're working with this um, amazing scientist. Uh, her name is Dr. Ho, and she's a, a virologist and an epidemiologist at Academia Sinica. Ho Mei Xiang. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, uh, if like if scientists could be superheroes, like she's a superhero. Uh huh. She's she's just absolutely awesome, and mm. I was heaping praise on Taiwan's healthcare system to her one day, and she says, "You know, actually, there is a real issue, and if you uh, if you got some time, I would love to show you some statistics." And so she started showing me these statistics, and there it's just open data that she. Um, kind of reorganized so you could see what was going on, and she also population adjusted so you mm -hmm. could see you could compare American to Taiwan. Mm -hmm. She knows I'm from America, so she was showing me like, hey, like she asked me, who do you think is healthier, like um, uh, um, Americans or Taiwanese? And I said, of course, Taiwanese. Like the diet here is way better than America. And she showed me like chart after chart of starting at age seven, so mm -hmm. age seven to twelve, the kids. Both boys and girls are having the biomarkers of prediabetes. So all of these Where? chronic diseases um, in their blood, when they do oh, blood work, okay. you can see um, they call them markers. Uh -huh. These are sort of like, um, I mean, they're just numbers. But when okay. they see these numbers and they're trending in a direction that's bad, then they call these things markers. Uh -huh, so like, uh -huh. hey, you should track these things and see what's going on. That's, that's all they are. It's just a fancy name for it. I, I didn't mean where in their blood. I mean, <laughs> where are the boys and girls? Oh. I mean, <laughs> who all have the markers? Taiwan. Like yeah. uh, Taiwan? Taiwan, yeah. Oh. Yeah, so 29.7% so of kids aged 7 to 12 in this study, and it was a very big study. It was across all of Taiwan population, uh -huh. had these biomarkers. Uh -huh. And so... This was 2013 to 2016. So what that means is given another 10 years, and you're going to have a whole wave of people entering into the sick care system uh -huh. with chronic diseases, you know, like diabetes. Uh -huh. These are unbelievably expensive. And then when you get them, well, there's no cure. That's why they're called chronic, of course, yeah. right? And so you're stuck with it for life. And your whole life, you're going to have to suffer because of this stuff. Uh 